Here's a one minute introduction to Algebra 2. So you'll run into quadratics that look like this, and you need to know how to factor and solve these. Now, if there's nothing in front of the x squared term, you can just simply figure out what two numbers add to give you the middle term and multiply to give you the end term. The way we can find those two numbers is by taking the possible multiples of this end term. Now, if we add those, we need to figure out which of these are going to add to give us this negative three. And it turns out that none of these actually work, but this bottom one is close. Notice this gives us a positive three, which means I need to swap that negative sign to the other side. And notice that three plus negative six gives us negative three and multiplies to negative 18. So those are going to be our two numbers right there. And I'm going to change this x plus negative 6 to an x minus 6. If I want to actually solve it from here, what I can do is take both of the expressions in parentheses and set them equal to 0. Now, if I simultaneously solve both of these at the same time, I get x equals negative 3 and x equals 6. So those are my two roots right there. Now, something I will say is that you end up learning about the quadratic formula, which can solve any expression, whether there's something in front of this x squared or not, where you literally just take your a, your b, and your c and plug it into this, this formula right here. And if you solve it, it will give you the same two roots that you get with factoring.